if the ballot happens um, on a postal uh, basis only, this will be for the first time that uh, this country has done it. Uh, and, um, you know, as many experts, not, not only experts say, you know, the, you know, the system is just simply not ready for that. Number two, it is that rules of this um, of voting have been changed in very close proximity to the elections, meaning uh, really the government starting to draft new rules about a month uh, before the actual uh, the actual vote, in no consultation with the uh, with the opposition. So the opposition is not uh, is, is not involved in this process. Uh, the campaign uh, has been uh, the campaigns have been suspended. So essentially, the opposition candidates have had no ways of communicating to the public of what is it what they uh, you know would do if they were elected. While at the same time, the state on television in Poland is all the time is promoting the sitting president. Uh, from the Law and Justice Party, so there is no no equality, no equality in communicating to the public the, the programs uh, and the ideas. Uh, and finally, there is no judicial review for the uh, for the for the elections, meaning that um, you know the the law, which uh, the electoral law in Poland, the traditional one. Uh, gives the, uh, the whole process of counting votes, or organizing the elections, to the impartial judicial, to the impartial uh, electoral committee, and that is meant to be replaced now with a post office. And post office in this country is a state-owned company, uh, the leadership of which is completely taken by the former employees of the Ministry of Defense. So, so uh, the... there is just no guarantee. That Sorry, Lim, for interjecting you, because I wanted to ask you, so what, given the, this complicated landscape that you've just painted there, what are the odds of the election actually taking place at this point? Uh, it, it really is 50-50 right now, because the, uh, the, the government has prepared, uh, uh, has voted in favour of a new law, which changes all the rules. Uh, the law is now rejected by the Senate. Uh, and then the government needs to uh, can overrule the Senate, uh, possibly if it has enough majority till the 6th of May. Uh, and if it does it, then maybe there will be some kind of a, uh, I don't know, contest, because I don't want to call it the election, uh, on the 10th of May. But, but people don't know whether it's going to happen. People don't know how, what will be the rules. So it will be, you know, a um, very weird way of holding the elections. Uh, and it is possible that, the, that some moderate MPs from Law and Justice, Justice Party will, will vote against, uh, against the law. So it's 50-50. We just, honestly, two weeks before the election, we have no idea whether they, they are going to happen and uh, on what kind of a... In, which way they will be organized and how the whole thing will actually unravel.